Moya, I guess there's also yes down. Okay, fine. So you pin me so that you can see on my board very well. So we're talking about completing square method. When you have to complete the square, when you have to solve a quadratic equation using completing square method, uh, we first consider a constant equation. We say let the equation be x squared plus bx plus c equals one t equals zero. That's the first thing which we have. We have the equation, and we are supposed to use completing square method to solve this equation. Now, when you have to use completing square method to solve any quadratic equation, there are steps which you have to take before you reach there. The first step is ensure, make sure it is a mass that the coefficient of x squared is one. Oh my God. You have to make sure the coefficient of x squared is one. That is the first thing which you have to do. Ensure that the coefficient of x squared is one. Now, when you look at this equation, the coefficient of x squared is not one, but it is what? It is a. So how do we make it one? We make it one by dividing all through by a, okay? So this is already a. So we make it one by dividing all through by a, all through by a, all through by a, all through by a. So that this a and this a can go, we remain with x squared plus b over a x plus c over a to be equal to zero. That is the first thing. If it is one, you are safe. If it is not one, make it one. If it was like a pv, x squared plus 4x plus one, I would first divide all through by pv, all through by pv, all through by pv, 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 throughout. Now, after dividing all through by a, you take this remaining part the other side. Now you take this part the other side. When you take this part this side, remember this is a plus. When it crosses the other side, it will be a minus. So you shall have x squared plus b over a x. Then she equals to this is a plus when it crosses the other side. We are taking the whole thing, please. We are taking the whole thing the other side. It's a plus. So when it crosses the other side, it becomes a minus. We shall have minus c over a. This is the second step. Then the third step is, can you get the coefficient of x? Oh my God. Coefficient of x. The, we are talking about coefficient of x squared, but here we are talking about coefficient of x. So the coefficient of x is here. This is x. Each coefficient is the number which is attached to it. Here we say coefficient of x squared was a because it was a which was attached to it. But here it is x and it is b over a which is attached to it. So coefficient of x we get it as b over a. Now after getting the coefficient of x, get a half of it. When you say a half of it, that means divide it by two. So get the coefficient of x, then thereafter you divide it by two. So if this coefficient of x, then a half of it is going to be b over a, then divide by 2. Divide by 2 is just multiplying by a half. When I say divide by 2, you just multiply by a half. That's the same thing. So a half of a would be b 
This is B over 2A. Then, after that, you will have to square the return. Get the coefficient of x, which is b over a. Get a half of b, which is b over 2a. Then you square it. So from there, you square. You square the coefficient of what of x. I mean, the, the half coefficient of x. Square a half coefficient of x. Remember, our half coefficient of x is already b over 2a. So when I'm going to square, I will say b over 2a, but squared. So this square will square b, this square will square 2, this square will square a. So it will be b squared. When you square 2, I get 4. When I square a, I get a squared. Good. Now, let's look here very well. This is the technical part of completing square. Now, this equation, this one, which remains this side, this one which has remained this side, can be written as, I will show you this, it can be written as x plus a half coefficient of x close square. Let me write this somewhere here. We have x squared plus b over a x to be equal to negative c over a. This one, which has remained here, can be written as x plus a half a half coefficient of x close square minus a half square that is a half coefficient of x also square that is this only i will use the numerical value to illustrate this if i say x square plus bx b over ax it can be written as x plus a half coefficient of x close square you know that this x does not have the square now we're taking the square outside so it is like x plus a half coefficient of x back square but you don't stop there you say minus a half coefficient of x square i will take more time on this so that at least we get it from the first principle if i have x plus 4x this is x squared plus 4x what we can see see this x squared plus 4x this is this can be written as x plus a half coefficient of x here the coefficient of x is 4 a half of it is 1 is 2 but what that should be squared then minus a half of coefficient of x squared coefficient of x is 4 a half of it is 2 but what but squared if I expand this, then I take away this, I will get exactly that. The same story. If I have x squared plus, let's say, 10 x, this one can be written as x plus half of coefficient of x, which is 5. But squared minus a half of coefficient of x, which is 5, but should also be 1 should also be square. That is this one. Then, if I have x minus 
delete x. How do I write this? This is the same as this is x squared. This is the same as x plus a half of coefficient of x. Coefficient of x is negative 3. So negative 3 cannot divide 2. So we write negative 3 over 1 over 2. But what? Square minus a half of coefficient of x squared minus 3 over 2 but that is but square. In that way, you will be completing the square. So, we do it here. We say this is x plus a half of coefficient of x squared minus a half of coefficient of x still squared. That is this part alone. Remember, you just need to know what coefficient of x is. A half of it, then the square of it. So this would be like um, x plus coefficient of x is b over a. A half of it we are putting as b over 2a. So it is plus b over 2a plus square, then minus a half of coefficient of x square. A half of coefficient of x squared. A half of coefficient of x was b over 2a. Square of it was this one. So it is minus b squared over 4 a squared should be equal to now negative c over a. Then from there, we take this, this side. After taking this and this side, we take the square root, we get the value of x. So from there, Taking this on this side, remember it's a minus when it crosses the other side becomes a plus. So here we shall have x plus b over 2a but square should be equal to when it takes this on this side, it will be positive b squared over 4a squared, b squared over 4a squared, and the other side will find minus c over a. So you get x plus b over 2a squared to be equal to, you shall have this as 4a squared. 4a squared divided by 4a squared with the same here is 4a squared a, so the same is 4a squared. 4a squared divided by 4a squared, that is 1. 1 times b squared, that is b squared. Then from there, we say minus. 4a squared divided by a, we get 4a. 4a times c, that is 4ac. So from there, we take the square root. We shall have x plus b over 2a. When I take the square root of this, I get this equals to, I take the square root of the upper one alone, which is b squared minus 4a, c, divided by, when I take the square root of 4a squared, I first take the square root of 4, that is the 2. I take the square root of a squared, that will be a. So it will be 2a. But the square root of a number is either positive or negative. Then from there, we bring this one to the side. So it's a positive. When it crosses the other side, will be negative. So we shall have x to be equal to negative b over 2a plus or minus square root of b squared and of course a c and also over 2a. Then from there, you get the expression directly. So get x to be equal to negative b over 2a, negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac but over 2a. So that would be the expression which would have got after completing square.
And I believe some of us have ever seen this expression. It is called to be formula method or bulldozer method. Now, we are going to see bulldozer method after this method. But what is important here does not require up to derivation of this. Just, this is just to show you the steps which you need to take when you are to reach there. Let's look at EG number one. How do we deal with the, this type of equation? Let's look at EG number one. By completing square, by completing square, solve sort of the equation x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. Please, when you say complete the square and then we use bulldozer method, you get something which you will not like. You don't get the marks for that. Uh, so you need to, if they say, use completing square. To do this, then you have to use completing square. Okay? Good. Now, in our function, we have the equation, okay? We have x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. If we have to use completing square method, then you have to first make sure the coefficient of x squared is 1. If I may ask, uh, if I may ask, uh, Rachel, Rachel, can you unmute, Rachel? Rachel and Konda, are you able to unmute? Let me unmute you. Hey, yes, Rachel. Okay, let me hear from Kevin. Kevin? Hello, Kevin. Oh, Josephine? 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 Okay, let me hear from Imi. Imi? Can you unmute? Imi? Imi? Hello, Imi. I can't hear you, Imi. Yes, please. Can you hear me? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. Good. So, Imi, I was asking you, okay? Imi? Yes. What is the coefficient of x squared here? I think it's one. Very good. It is one, okay? The coefficient of x squared here is one. Uh, Tipita is asking, Tipita is asking, teacher, how do you get the coefficient? 
Tipita, 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 can you raise up your hand? Tipita? Yes. Yes, Tipita. Hello, Tipita. Can you unmute? Tipita? Yes, teacher. Uh, you can look at this. If I say AX squared plus BX plus C equals to zero. Do you see this typical? Yes. If I say coefficient of X squared, okay? Yes. Is the number multiplying X squared. Do you get that? Yes. Hey. If I say the coefficient of x is the number which is multiplying x, which number is that? B. Very good. So here we are saying coefficient of x squared. Which number is that? One. Very good. What about x? Which number is that? Two. What is, which Two. number is that? Number two. Are you sure? Negative two. Very good. <laughs> I think you are both now, right? Yes. Yeah, that's how we get the coefficients, okay? Yes, teacher. Let's move on. Uh, when you multiply one another, you can see completely square like that, this equation. And uh, Amy has already told us that the coefficient of x squared is now 1. The moment the coefficient of x squared is 1, that means the first step is already done. You go to the second step. The second step is to take this one, this side. So when you take this one, this side, it is a positive. So when you cross it, the other side becomes minus. So this is x squared minus 2x to be equal to negative 1. That is step number 2. Then step number 3. Complete the square Complete the square. Now we have completed the square. The remaining part is the same as x plus half coefficient of x. But minus a half coefficient of x. Again, stretch increases to negative one. Please, we are now, after doing here, we complete the square. How do we complete the square? This part now becomes x plus a half coefficient of x squared. Half coefficient of squared, again, squared. Tipita, are you still unmuted? Yes, teacher. Yeah, Tipita, you're going to take us through this step, okay, my sister? Yeah. Do you have to take it No. I'm saying you're going to take us through this step, okay? Okay. okay. So we are going to say it is X. That is the one. Give me the one position of X here. Negative two. Okay, divide that. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so Network. Okay. Uh, Hello, baby. Yes, sir. Very well. Are you baby? 
Yes. Your name exactly. Are you Betty? No. Yeah. My name is Adela. Adela who? Aina man. Hey, where's the see here, baby? Yes, Adela, uh-huh. You have the calculator, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Good. So we're going to do this together, Adela, baby. Uh, coefficient of X, what is the coefficient of X, Adela? Coefficient of X is negative one. Coefficient of X? Negative two. Very good. Divide by two. Because you are divided by two, okay? What do you get? Negative one. Very good. So it is x plus a half coefficient of x. So you first get coefficient of x, then you divide by two. Coefficient of x is negative two. Divide by two, you get negative one. Is that okay? But what is squared? Then minus. Uh, coefficient of x is still negative 2. Divide by 2, you get negative 1. But this is what squared should be equal to negative 1. Is that okay, baby Adela? Yes, sir. Okay, please. Fine. So, these are the positive change to negative. Positive and negative, you get the negative. So, you get x minus 1. But squared. Then minus. Negative one squared, that is positive what is? That is positive one. Should be equal to negative one. Then from there, we take this one, this side. It's a minus. When it crosses the other side, it will be a plus. So we shall have here x minus one, but squared to be equal to. This will be negative one plus one. Negative one plus one. So this is x minus one squared to be equal to zero. Go to the layer. You shall square, take the square root on both sides. You take the square root here. You take the square root there. This square root will go with this. So remain with x minus one. Square root of the zero is zero. Then after you take this and this side. So x equals to zero plus one. X equals to one. Full stop. Is it done? Is it okay with everyone? Is it okay with everyone? Please let me know. You can say yes or see you know, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, teacher. That's from Tibita. Good Tibita. Teacher. Irina says, yes, but uh, there's somebody who say, teacher, pardon. Let me pardon it very well. I have no problem. Can I see that person? If you know you said pardon, can you raise up the hand? You said pardon, can you raise up the hand? Yes, Wamala. Pardon? Wamala. Ramallah, you raise up the hand. Keep your hands up. Yes, can you unmute? Ramallah, can you unmute? Take a hand, man. Teacher. Yes, please. That part of, that part of x minus 1 is good. And that's negative 1 on the side. Not got it. The part of... The part of x minus one squared minus negative one squared. I'm not got it. Where is it? Here. Is it Here. Is it this one, Mr. Omala? Oh, Omala, keep, keep. Keep unmuted, please. Wamala, can you unmute? Wamala? Say that one. 
This network, right? Yeah, network. Because you're saying this is x plus a half coefficient of x squared, then minus a half coefficient of x squared is to this. The whole of this one. That is complete in the square. So we have been asking as well, what is coefficient of x here is negative two. A half of it is negative one. We put it here. So a half of negative two is negative one. Minus a half of negative two is negative one squared equals to negative one. Then you continue with the series. Let's go, Amara. Okay, let's see EG number two under that. But this time around, I want us to do one where the coefficient of x squared is not one. I want us to do where the coefficient of x squared is not one. The question is right up there, 2x squared plus 5x, 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals to 0. We are using completing square method. Imi? Hello, Imi? Hello, Imi? Imi, can you unmute? Hello, Imi. Okay. Let me see. Light on. Yes, teacher. Uh, light on. You're going to pay us in this question. Okay, light on. Okay. Got it, please. We have. Already equation 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals to 0. Is that the okay, right one? Yes. Well, uh, what is the first step here? We make we make the coefficient of x squared 1 by dividing. Very good. Very good. The coefficient of x squared here is what? 2. It is 2. So we make it 1 by doing what? By dividing through, dividing by through out. Very good. So we divide one through by two, or through by two, or through by two, or through by two. So that we shall have x squared plus, this is five over two, x plus three over two equals to zero. Next step, light one. The next step, we get the coefficient, the coefficient of x. Let us first take this to the other side. Not so light on. Yes. Yeah, let's take this this side so that we will remain only this. So this is x squared plus 5 out of 2. x to be equal to negative 3 out of 2. This is a plus and plus on the other side becomes a minus. Right? So the next step, light on. Then we get the coefficient of x. What's the coefficient of x here? 5 over 2. 5 okay. over 2. It is 5 over 1 over 2, okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Then after that, we get, we complete the squares. We complete the square, very good. After that, we complete the square. So the expression is going to be equal to x plus a half coefficient of x, right? a half coefficient of x, but square minus a half coefficient squared. Very good. She brings negative 3 out of 1. 
negative three of root two. Not so. Yes. So this is like x plus uh -huh. five over four. For very good, very good language. Yeah, that's why I told you that some we are supposed to promote you to place for math subjects. <laughs> okay, so coefficient of x is one over five over two. When you multiply by a half, one you multiply five, a half you multiply two. So you get five out of four. Very good item, but what is but square? Yeah. That okay? Yes. Then minus minus five over four square. Very good. Still is five over four. It is one over two times coefficient of x, which is five over two. So this is still five over four. But remember, it's what the square should be equal to negative three out of two. Good. Let's move on. We first copy this. This is x plus 5 over 4 plus square minus this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This light on. That we get 10 out of 6. Sorry? 10 out of, I uh, know, 25 out of 16. Very good. So you square this, which is 25. This is 25. Over, you square this, which is 16. This is 16. Should be equal to negative 3 over 2. I guess now the next step is to take this on this side. Not so right on. Yes. So we shall have here x plus. 5 over 4 plus square to be equal to when you get that side becomes a positive, not so? Yes. yes. So we shall have one plus. We shall have negative 3 out of 2 plus 25 out of 16. 10 plus 25 out of 16. Good. We shall have x plus 5 out of 4 plus square. What do you see in here like? The LCM is 16. Very good. So this is 16. 16 by 2, that is 8, not so? Yes. 8 times negative 3, that's negative 24. Is that okay? Yes. Then 16 by 16, that is 1. 1 times this is positive 25. Okay? So shall have x plus 5 over 4, close square action, because this is 1 over 16. Is that the right one? Yes, teacher. But the next step is? We square both sides. Square. Square root. Square root. Pardon? Do we square or we take the square root? Square root. We take the square root. Oh, good. So we take the square root here, we take the square root of that, okay? So the square root of that with this will remain with x plus 5 over 4 to be the square root of 1 is 1, okay? Yes. And the square root of 16 is 4. 4, good. But don't forget your square root of a number is either positive forward or negative. Okay? You should not forget this. After taking the square root, you introduce a positive or negative. Okay. Good. Then from there. Yeah. I think we take this one now the other side, right? Yes. It is a positive when it crosses the other side, it becomes what? A negative. Very good. So this would be x equals to positive or negative 1 over 4, then minus 5 over 4. Is that okay? Yes. 
Then from there, from there you say either either x equal to you pick the positive one. Positive one over four minus five over four for x equal to negative one over four minus five over four. Let me come again. From here you say either x equal to positive one over four minus five over four or x equal to negative one over four minus five over four. Is that okay, right one? Yes, teacher. In the rest. So we say either x equals to negative, I mean positive 1 over 4 minus 5 over 4. Let us first begin with this one. Here, SCM is what? 4. Not so? Yes. 4 divided by 4? 1. Times 1? 1. 4 divided by 4 times 1 times this, this is negative 5. So we shall have x equals to negative 1 minus 5, negative 4 over 4, which gives us negative 1. That is if we pick the positive one. For x equals to positive 1 over 4 minus 5 over 4. Then you say for you pick the positive negative one. x equals to negative 1 over 4 uh, minus 5 over 4. So x will be the same as negative 1 minus 5, that is negative what is 6 over what is over 4, which is 1.5. Is it 1.5? That is 3 over 2. And negative 3 over 2. Very good. So you make the conclusion therefore x is negative 1 or x is negative 3 over 2. Thank you so much, Lightroom, for taking us through that number. Everybody, thank you. Thank you so much. I want to pick another person to take us through the next number. Who is that? I want you to raise up your hand. Can you raise up the hand and you take us through the next number? Before we go there, is there any question on this number? Is everything clear? Is everything clear here? Please, you can let me know. Yeah, I see. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, great. Great, great, great. Who can take us through the next number? Who can take us through the next number? Just like how I can be. Of course, we shall be going together, not you alone. Oh. I don't see anyone. Take us random. Baby, you want to take us through? Yes. Okay, please, fine. Thank you. Okay. So the next number is x squared plus uh, 9x plus 20 equals to 0. Good. Baby, uh, can we start then? Yes. Good. You really have the equation. It is x squared plus 9x plus 20 equals to 0. Good. What is our first step? We make sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1. 
Dito red one. Since it's one, we take uh, is twenty. It red one in this case? Yes. Is it one already here? Is it one? Yeah. It's already one, right? Yes. Good. So that means the next step is what is the next step, baby? We take twenty the others the next the, okay. the other so we take twenty this side. It's supposed to be when it crosses becomes a negative, right? Yes, sir. We shall have x squared plus nine x to be equal to negative twenty. Yes, baby. Now we complete the square. We complete the square now. We complete the square. We complete the square. We shouldn't forget that the coefficient of x here is what? What's the coefficient of x here? Nine. Very good. So now we are going to complete the square here. This will be x plus a half coefficient of x plus squared minus a half coefficient of x squared to be equal to negative one there. So maybe you can take a look. So this is x plus uh huh. Nine out of two. Eh? Plus nine out of two. Very good. Nine out of two. But what? But squared, right? Then minus. This is also nine out of what? Out of two also, squared should be equal to negative 20. Thank you. So we maintain this. This is x plus 9 out of 2 plus squared to be equal to. I mean, this is minus, right? 81 out of 4. Very good. 81 out of 4 should be equal to negative 20. So maybe what's the next step? We take 81, negative 81 out of 4 the next. Very good. So we shall have x plus 9 out of 2 plus squared equals 2. This is negative 20. It's a negative when it goes to this side, b plus 81 out of 4. Good, good, good. Good. So we maintain this and we take the same here. We have x plus 9 out of 2 plus squared equals to the same here is 4. Is it 4, baby? Yes. So 4 divided by 1, right? In 4. Times negative 20. Negative 8. Plus this is four divided by four, which is one times eight one, we get eighty one. We shall have x plus nine out of two plus square to be equal to. Now how do we get it? One out of four. One out of four is one out of four. Then from there. We square. We use square root. We take the square root. Square. Good. So we take the square root of this. We take the square root of that. So this and this and we'll go. And we have x plus 9 out of 2. Because so when you take the square root here, what do you get, baby? 1. 1 out of 2. Out of two, but it's a positive and a negative. Very good, very good, very good, very good. It's either a positive or a negative. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. So from there, now we take this one, this side. It's a plus. When it crosses the other side, it will be a minus. We shall have x to take to positive or negative, a half minus nine 
out of two. Is that okay? Yes. So what next here? Aida. Aida. X equals half minus nine out of two. So we first want to get this right. Yes. X M E is what? Is two? Not so. Is two. So this is your one. One. Uh huh. One minus nine. Good. So x is equals to negative eight divided by two. X equals to negative four. Is that okay? Yes. Then you go to the other four, right? Four. Uh huh. X equals neg negative a half minus negative. Half minus one out of two. So the MCN is still what? Is still two. Two by two. Negative one. It's one. This minus that is negative what? One minus nine. This is negative what? One out of two. Negative ten out of two. Okay. Which gives us X is what? Negative five. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, okay? Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, for sure. Now I'm going to post the work in Google Classroom, make sure you try them out, okay? Yes. yes sir. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye for now. Have a nice lunch. If you have any questions, please ask. Is everything clear to everyone? Yes, I have. I have some people hands up. Yes, I see. Kevin, Kevin. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. It's not loading. Yes. Kevin. Yes, sir. Uh, do you have any question? I see your hands up. Yes, I was asking. You're asking. Where do I get the assignment from? Oh, in are you not in Google Classroom? No. Are you in WhatsApp group? No, it's my first time. Oh, sorry. Now, what you're going to do, you just go in Google, okay? You go to Google. Yes. Yes. You search for Christian School Owners Association, okay? Pardon? Let me show you. Let me share my screen with you, okay? Yes. Let me share my screen with you. Are you able to see on my screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I'll come on here and I say, do you see what I'm typing? Yes. Christian. Christian. Okay. Yes. School. Honors. Okay. Yes. Association. Yes. Do you see that? Yes, sir. When I tap that, I just go to Google search, okay? Yes. It brings me this one. Where there is N A S C N A C S U, okay? Dot org, okay? Yes. Then you tap on this. Are you able to see this one? Yes. You tap on this. When you tap on this, you will see some a boy who is smiling. Are you seeing how this boy is very happy? Yes. But the corner there, there is joint class. Have you seen that corner? 
Yes. Yeah, you tap join class, okay? Yes, sir. When you tap join class, you receive this this Zoom classes, e classes, okay? Yes. Scroll down. Do you see our timetable? Yes. Yes. You scroll down there. Uh, you scroll down uh, up to this is the WhatsApp group. If you are not in WhatsApp, okay? Yes. Just come and tap here and you go direct to our WhatsApp group, okay? Yes, sir. If you are not in our Google Classroom, I see in the Google Classroom codes and invitation links, okay? Yes. So you go to Senior 5, okay? Yes. Senior 5 is here. But before you tap here, you first copy this link somewhere. I see this, I mean this code. Yes. Because after tapping here, it will ask you the code. Okay. Yes, sir. So if I tap here, you see what I'm going to do, okay? Mm. If I tap here, it will take me direct to the class. I see in that class. I see in that class. Yes. Senior five. Then when you go to senior five, this is classwork. I see in here written classwork. Yes. Here. That is classwork. I see the subjects. Yes. Entrepreneurship. You scroll down up to sub mathematics. Okay, this is sub math. Okay. Yes. I see this is our sub math. Yes, sir. The assignment there is the lesson. The last lesson is here. Are you able to see it? Yes. This is the last lesson we had. It is always there. Sub mathematics factorization method is what we need. Okay. Yes. This is the work, but the assignment is separate. The assignment, I write it as assignment, okay? Okay. So, I can, now from there, I can go back. Then the assignment is here on top. I see assignment. Yes. So, you just open it. When you open, you can see that I've read it. Somebody has just submitted, I've read Mark 9. So, you open the assignment. After opening, you do the assignment here. Use factorization method to solve this, okay? Yes. So you find also for this as like that. Is that okay, Kevin? Yes, sir. Thank you so okay, much. When you fail, okay, when you fail, are you hearing? Yes. When you fail, you contact me on this number. Are you, are you able to write? Yes. Zero seven zero. Zero seven zero. Are you doing three seven five already? Yes, sir. Put a zero. Then put three eight seven. And then zero three seven five zero three eight seven. Yes. Did the lunch? Carly, please. I have a nice lunch. You too. Fine. Hey, somebody is saying Kamal is saying. Peter, show the marks there, that the marks are not seen. Wamala, Wamala, can you raise that hand? Wamala? Wamala? If you want to see your marks, let me show you. If you want to see your marks, it's already here. This one I've read mark nine. Go here. You go there. You see the list here. I see this person, Mom Edgar, has submitted, you have just submitted now, now. So you go down where the list of marks are. Some whom have read mark, they are down here. 
Are you able to see you people? Are you able to see? Yes. Yeah. So you see, Muyondo Trello, Kwagala Trello, the Simat 9, uh, Andrew got everything, this one got 10, just like that, okay? So, Wamala, Wamala, I've answered your question. Wamala? Hello, Wamala? Wamala, can you unmute? Wamala? Wamala? Yes, teacher. Have I answered your question? Yes, teacher. Please, fine. Have a nice lunch, you people. Goodbye for now. Thank you. Goodbye, goodbye. Nice lunch. Nice lunch too, and happy independence. Likewise. Okay, please. Anytime.